We all saw last week, you can put up points on that Detroit defense and Detroit's going to score as well. So that has the potential for getting close to the over in that game for sure. So Carson Wentz, believe it or not, is on the board. Again, 74 on FanDuel, 58 on DK. Derek Carr, always a good investment at 73 and 62. Uh, Winston, I'm out on. I'm in on Daniel Jones, but not on FanDuel at 71. On DraftKings at 5,100. He's a fascinating uh, guy today in tournaments because... You don't have to pair him with anybody, right? You can run him out solo, but I prefer to run him with the cheap Saquon Barkley, which we're going to get to in a second. Remember last week when we said, look, he's cheap, he's chalk, he's Saquon Barkley, put him out there now when he's healthy. And if you did, well, you did okay last week, chances are. So I'm going to go back to that logic because on DraftKings especially, he hasn't gone up to the top of the board yet. On FanDuel, they've adjusted. They have not corrected enough on DraftKings. So I think a fascinating little skinny stack, if you will, is going with Daniel Jones, who does have some low-key rushing equity in him. He does use his legs all right. Pair him with Saquon Barkley. If you want to put Shepard in there instead, that's okay too. I do think Shepard will be uh, a guy you will see targeted a lot in this game as well. Uh, Then you got Trevor Lawrence, Matt Ryan, who I'm off of now this week, and Jared Goff, who is respectable. But once again, we're looking for bigger boom potential here. So to me, Daniel Jones is that cost-effective guy at 5,100, the cheapest guy of all this lot. Over on DraftKings, I think it brings a lot of appeal. Trey Lance brings some appeal too with his legs. 